Yep. I mean, my views on, you know, liberty versus license, I guess is like a hybrid of those two, because as a Catholic, of course, you know, I, I, my views align with yours that, you know, we're called to virtue, but when it comes to government regulating our ability to do something good or something bad, I do fall a little bit more towards the libertarian um, end of the spectrum simply because that's what God allowed of us as human beings to choose the wrong thing. We had to be able to choose to do the wrong thing in order to choose the right thing. Well, that's the idea of of free will, right? He gave us free will. He gave us the uh, the ability to choose the devil versus to choose him. Without which, we would just be animals with instinct, true. and our choice would mean nothing. No, that's true. You you certainly need free will. But then, and but the, the God also allows the civil authority to put restraints on these things, right? We He doesn't give us. He doesn't say you have the right to commit a murder. You know, I will. I will not allow the civil authority to prescribe proscribe murder. And so then it becomes this negotiation. I mean, are we? What kind of what kind of uh, limits do we want to put on that kind of freedom? You know, so for right. most for most well, of America, the limits should obviously be if if you've infringed upon someone else's ability to you know, exercise those th- same things, those those choices, someone else's ability to um, just live out their individual liberties, right? Okay. If you're violating someone else's liberties, that's different than choosing. And I, I, I understand about- the argument, the argument that if you um, if you make a bad moral choice, it has cascading effects and you yes. are essentially, you are essentially morally crippling someone else, not necessarily the person with which you, you know, if it's sexual sin that you uh, did that yeah. with, <laughs> if you will. Who you been talking PG. to? Who you hold on here? Have you been, yes. um, I, I understand that, but a, I, I just think it's very risky for a government to get involved in the regulation of that because as soon as you have um, any politician, the Democratic Party right now is a perfect example of this. They're redefining the very idea of right and wrong, good and bad, moral and immoral. And they're wielding that power. Yes. But, but then and so if you give a government that power, then... But the government already has that power because the left is already doing it. So my, my question then is, what about drug laws? You know, let's say not forget about um, drunk driving laws, but just actual doing the drug or possessing the drug. That is not something that infringes on someone else's liberty in, in, in some very remote way, perhaps. But really, it's just about, do you have the right to smoke the doobie or shoot the heroin or smoke the crack? And I th- it seems to me the conservative answer and the answer that most people held in the country until very recently was, no, you don't have that right. Even though it doesn't infringe on someone else's rights, you do not have the right to use your body in that way. And abuse it. To abuse, right, to abuse, to abuse well, your is, body. Isn't yeah. this where our system of government in general has gotten very off track? Because to get very nerdy here, the federal government was supposed to be more libertarian, more hands off. And the state governments and the local governments yep. were the ones that had the ability to say, OK, Morality, sure. Let's let's regulate what what we want our yeah. communities to be, as long as we are not violating those inherent rights that are codified. The laws, right? In, I mean, that, in protect, yeah. protected in the Constitution. 